All right, I'm a little washed out. I usually, I think it's just a time of day when the sun starts going down, the lighting is terrible in front of this window. Anyway, I am wearing the dress from Shein today. Uh, it's probably one of like the last warm days we're gonna have this year, so I took advantage. I really, I kind of want to start doing those like outfit videos on TikTok. They seem so much fun and I feel like it would expand my creativity to dig into my closet a little bit more um, as I have more clothes on the way. Anyway, I was just getting some of the kids um, stuff away for Halloween. So I figured before I pack everything away, every holiday, if you've been with me, you've heard the spiel before, every holiday I love getting the kids themed snacks for daycare or school. Um, I get like the paper plates, the, the napkins, especially like Halloween and Christmas and Valentine's Day. So we have some ghost puffs, I'm assuming. I think we've had these before. I also think they have a pirate's booty version, um, but it's just like a Cheeto almost, but like white, white cheddar flavor instead. Some Skinny Pop. I don't think I've actually tried Skinny Pop popcorn, but almost every time I shipped and I have a grocery order, this is included. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I tried, I wanted to try it. I don't think there's, I think it's just the packaging that's Halloween themed, but there are, well, I think 12, 12 bags in here. And I also got some, uh, I think these are the like animal, like the frosted animal crackers, but they're Halloween shapes. So we have a bat, um, two, ver or two bats and two cats. But I wanted to be able to open these and put them out for the kids to start taking them to school. Oh yeah, see, I ended up only getting one pack of um, plates right now because Walmart actually has better pricing on Halloween lights and decor and stuff. Um, Target has a bigger selection, but Walmart definitely beat the prices. So um, I'm, next time I'm at Walmart, I'm gonna pick up some more themed plates and everything. Oh, one more quick interjection before I forget because I already forgot. It was recently my 10 year anniversary of buying this house. Yep, I bought it at the end of 2012. That's crazy. Yep, fall of, 2020, fall of 2012, I closed on this house. And it kind of started making me think back to like my first night here and my bedroom where I slept at the time is still my current bedroom. Um, but I slept on a mattress and I had my cat Felix. If any of you remember Felix? Um, it was just him and I, and I was going to community college at the time. I was working at the same job that I was a couple months back. Um, the, restaurant job the one I was at for 15 years I was still working there I remember who like my best friend was at the time actually my ex and I had started dating almost 10 years ago that's crazy that's insane it's our first time playing with binoculars hi hi Annie let me see yeah yeah Oh, look at him, honey. <laughs> so he's going to like different um, things. And what? <laughs> oh, what? Hi. He keeps going to like different. Oh, no, I know why. Wait. 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 What is this? It's a video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mama. Oh, my baby. I don't know. Huh? You don't know? Oh. Good morning. Um, can you tell I'm having a mental health crisis? Or <laughs> um, based off of this outfit alone, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know what it is about days like today. Um, I struggle. I struggle, man. And it's not like I'm depressed. Like I, I can't get out of bed or anything. But to like get myself. Like my kids are where they gotta go. Oh, well, truthfully, this morning was an absolute <laughs> crap show. Um, I forgot Hunter. So like I packed pretty much everything that I could last night to set myself up for a successful morning. Got Ella's, you know, charge, uh, a computer on the charger, Hunter's lunch packed. Uh, everything that I could do, except for the morning of, I did. 
and it went smoothly. Kids went to bed nice, went to sleep, woke up this morning, and I left to go get Hunter to daycare. And when I'm setting him up for daycare, I forgot his breakfast on the counter because it didn't fit in his bag. And I also forgot his bedding for the week, which was in a Walmart bag. So I'm like, oh my God. So luckily I had like some yogurt and stuff in his little lunch box and stuff. And he had, um, he always has one of these kinds of pouches first thing in the morning. So it's not like he was starving. Um, but yeah, I, did, I had French toast for him. So I'll save that for tomorrow. So I told the lady, um, once I got him set up with his food, I told her that I would be back. I had to get my daughter on the bus, but that I would come back with his bedding well before his nap. So I dropped that off. <laughs> so when I say a smooth morning, not really. I guess today would be one of those days where I wouldn't want to bring out my camera because I'm, I feel weird. I just feel right now, um, I'm actually working with like a psychologist and stuff and a PCP and trying to get me on some medication to help regulate my anxiety, my social anxiety, um, depression, all that stuff. Not really like, again, nothing like worrisome, but I really struggle after everything that I've been through over the couple past years. Um, I really struggle sometimes to go out and do anything by myself, especially um, that involves crowds. Um, I just don't feel safe. So we're trying to uh, kind of combat, uh, combat like PTSD and stuff. So right now I'm working with doctors and stuff to help me with medication. So I'm gonna take my medication very quickly. Um, and I've been trying this technique with taking medication. I think I've mentioned this, I've struggled taking pills since I was little. I have this like psychological thing where I think I'm gonna choke on the pill no matter how freaking small the pill is, does not matter. So my mom used to try to put it in pudding, applesauce, like stick it in anything, anything, mashed potatoes could not get it down like the ever all the food would go down and i would spit up the pill i'd be in tears like oh we had so many arguments over taking pills as a child could not do it recently on tiktok can't get this open i found a technique of taking pills if you're like me i would literally crush my pills into a powder and then put said powder on a spoon and eat it and then ch chug a lot of, it was disgusting. Ibuprofen and Advil is like the worst thing. I truthfully recommend like for me, carbonated drinks definitely have worked the best. I just don't have anything at the moment. All I really have is some apple juice, which I also need to, um, I need to go out and do some orders this morning anyways, which is why I started vlogging, but I figured I would show you this. So I'm gonna start, my brain is telling me, oh my God, it's so scary. So this pill, I don't really want to show it on camera because like I don't know like YouTube's um, thing with that, but it's um, it's an anti. I'm going to take my antidepressant first. And because it's like twice the size of, so I have three pills here. Two of them are the same size and they're very, very small. I'm going to try to swallow those holes, but this one is like twice the size, still very small but my brain won't, I don't think my brain is gonna let me try to do this whole. So when I put it in my mouth, I am gonna chew just once, break it in half. I know I should probably take it whole, but I just can't do it, but we're gonna try it. So what I'm gonna do, cause I'm not gonna be able to really speak. I'm gonna put it in my mouth again, just chew it down once so it breaks it in half. Um, take a gulp of my, in this case, apple juice with the apple juice i'm not going to swallow with the apple juice still in my mouth i'm going to put my neck down and then swallow while i'm facing this way and it's supposed to go right down so we're going to try that my heart is already racing this is why anyway <gasps> okay it went down Oh. Okay, it went down. And now we're gonna try the smaller ones whole. Oh. Uh. 
Did you see that pause? That was me fighting the urge to panic because <laughs> my, my, I want to react like I'm, I'm, I'm like getting scared that something is going to get lodged in my throat. Like I can feel my body very tense. Like my arms are, it's a very scary thing for me. It's so scary. People are like, what is wrong with you? Never in my life. I don't think I'll ever be able to take those capsule. One. Oh my God. All right, we're gonna last one. We did it. We did it. I had to take a moment, moment that I'm looking down and it's in my mouth. And you see it. I have to take that deep breath. That's me having to like my mus my neck muscles like tense up so that I do end up choking on it. And anyway, <laughs> let's go do some shift orders. I'm in really quick. So I haven't mentioned that I've been seeing somebody. I've been keeping it kind of private off of YouTube, like definitely not a secret, but I've learned from my last relationship that moving forward, I told myself that if I'm in a new relationship, um, serious or casual, I really didn't want uh, to put him on here and stuff. Anyway, he pointed out that this sweatshirt reminds him of the aqua forest. <laughs> I forget what it's called from Adult Swim with the french fry, the hamburger, and then obviously the cat is is the milkshake, but he's still white like the milkshake is in the sh and now I can't unsee it. And now I love this sweatshirt even more. I think it's tacky, but I love it. <laughs> So I have one order here, one order here. They're both prepaid. It's funny, I was just having a conversation about why um, sometimes I don't mind dressing, um, I guess, comfortably and going out in public and stuff because I said that if you see me on days like this where I'm not dressed up and I'm not looking cute, like I'm trying to get stuff done today. I can't even put my hair it honestly just kind of makes like going out sometimes a little easier because like you're not drawing any attention if anything <laughs> like I feel like you know nobody stops to talk to me or anything so I can just like get in and out and do my job um so truthfully it's a nice um change from dressing up gave me a little time after those deliveries to run home and have a quick lunch break as well um but i have another bundle order but i think only one of these orders this time has like one item they're really really small okay so i just actually grabbed a third order i'm already here anyway mine as well um I'm just texting everybody, letting them know I've arrived at this store. If they need anything else, so let me know. Okay, so we have J, F, G, and A. Um, I do have to use the restroom before we get started, so I'm going to do that first. They're all pretty paid, though. J is just woman. Somebody, um, Elizabeth, needed a pair of slippers, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to go to the back of the store, F, do grocery and finish up with beauty in A. I'm struggling to find these slippers. I found a couple pair, but not what she's looking for. And these aisles are not marked as clearly labeled as the other ones are. So that's why I always try to start with these. I thought there were slippers, the regular shoes. I have them next. I need the from F, Pokemon Legends Arceus Nintendo Switch game. But I feel like it's just because they're so While I figure out which address to go to first, um, I figured I'd share a quick 
story with you guys so i obviously had so i went and i got the woman's shoes you saw that and then when it came to the electronics oh yeah you're close by i just did another three orders um i didn't film it because honestly all three were very very small like this just has two kids pants in it this has just two smoking aids in it and then this one just has a couple beauty supplies so even though there were three orders they were all again really small but i think i don't think i have many orders left to do today i know ella i'm gonna have to worry about ella in about an hour or so so probably as soon as i drop these off um we'll see if i do any more orders today we'll see